Greetings from Deal again. This is my third uh, EverQuest video on poison, poison making quests. Um, here I'm going to cover the construction of your very first uh, Grand Master Assassin file. Um, this is a uh, prerequisite for the Grand Master Assassin seal quest, which is next in the progression. Uh, the Grand Master Assassin file is a um, is your very first poison making skill modifier. A skill modifier uh, is listed right here. It gives you an increase in your poison making skill by five percent, um, and uh, you place you place it in your um, primary, secondary, or range slot, and it gives you a skill modifier anytime you're making poisons, which is it's it's nice. It helps with um, success your success rate. Uh, it gives 10 to all stats, and it does give you a Charisma modifier. I know I'm talking about the Vial, not the Seal. The Vial and Seal actually have the same stats, and they still have the same modifier, but the Seal gives you this added benefit of summoning Coffin Vials. So um, the Vial, I'm going to look that up here, the Vial is here, the Grandmaster Assassin Vial. I don't have one yet. I haven't made it. Um, so. Um, they basically are identical items, but the seal allows you to summon coffin vials, and coffin vials are used to make multi-dose uh, poisons, and it allows you to reuse advanced poison vials. So you don't have to keep um, uh, making advanced poison vials. You basically you only need ten in your inventory. You combine ten into a single multi-use uh, poison, and then you get those ten advanced poison vials back. If you fail a poison, you also get the advanced poison vial back. So you never run out of poison vials. At least you never run out of advanced poison vials when you have this um, this item. So this is key when you want to raise your skill. Um, now the Grandmaster Assassin vial here has a trivial of 335. Okay, so it's, it's uh, difficult to make. That's without a skill modifier. Um, and you're not going to have a skill modifier in the game uh, yet uh, during the classic Kunark Velius era, as well as Lucklin going up to paint Planes of Power. Uh, there's there's no skill modifier um, that are that's in the game yet that you can quest. Uh, gnomes can make one, um, and uh, but really this is going to be your best skill modifier leading up to. Um, uh, the Prophecy of Row expansion, where eventually you get a much higher skill modifier. <clears throat> so um, this uh, vial is no trade. You have to make it yourself. Um, has a high trivial at 335. Um, so what I'd recommend doing is getting your skill to 275, making Spirit of Sloth. I'll pull up that recipe here. Spirit of Sloth gets you up to 275. Okay. This requires Creeper Ivy, Sealed Poison Vial, and Ethereal Suspension. Ethereal Suspension is pretty ex expensive. Um, creeper Ivy, is, it's pricey, but um, this gets really expensive. You'll have a lot of snares, so you'll have a lot of uh, level 4 uh, applied snare in your inventory. This is very useful when uh, fear kiting, so you can put this to use. A lot of rogues just resell it for a loss. Um, so you you'll lose money on the on the deal, but you will raise your skill. It takes a while to raise that skill up. Um, so, uh, but yeah, I I get to 275, and then I kind of make a strategic decision. I stop uh, doing any combines to get me from 275 to 300 uh, once I've trivialed out Spirit of Sloth. Once that greens out, um, and uh, the reason I do that is because I want to uh, be able to summon coffin vials and reuse advanced poison vials to get me from 275 to 300 because that requires a lot more combines than it does to get you to 275 and I want to do that with uh, things that require a, a you know that will level my poison making up and that tends to be with recipes that require advanced poison vials, and I don't want poison vials consumed, I want to recycle them. So um, that's my strategy. Um, other rogues might want this skill a little higher so that they can 
um, so that they can have more of a guarantee of um, having the vial, uh, uh, you know, of having the vial um, succeed on the first combine. Uh, let's just go over the ingredients. So um, the artisan vial can't be traded, so you have to make that. It requires a sealed poison vial, which is either purchased or made. That's not very expensive. And this artisan seal, okay? The artisan seal can be made uh, with either, uh, with two, two uh, trade skills, jewel crafting and uh, pottery. Um, you're gonna need a blue diamond, a diamond, a jacinth, and a black pearl, okay? And then you're going to need eight Velium bars. Velium bars are purchased in Thurgoden. Um, and then you're going to need one vial of purified mana, which requires four rubies. So you need a lot of jewels. Uh, you can farm these jewels. A great place to farm them is uh, Old Sebelus. And that's also Old Sebelus is where I go to get uh, a lot of my poison making ingredients. Go over those later, I promise. Uh, but. Um, so you need a blue diamond, a diamond, a jacinth, a black pearl, valium bars, and purified mana to, to um, do the combines. These ultimately can make an unfired uh, artisan seal, and then you fire the artisan seal and to make the artisan seal, which you then use poison making with this sealed poison vial to make the, the Grandmaster Assassin vial. Okay, so... The two methods to make this uh, seal, and this is kind of the most costly part of this proposition, the two methods are you can either make it yourself, and that will cost you around 3,500 to 4,000 plat to make this yourself, or you can buy it. Now, um, generally, I've checked on uh, the Mischief server, um, and they sell in the East Common Lands Tunnel. They're in um, Valius right now. Uh, so you got to go to the East Common Lands to make a trade. Uh, and they will sell between 8,000 and 10,000 plat, all right? Um, you can make them yourself, but you got to farm the ingredients. That's 3,500 to 4,000. So, you know, uh, depending on your uh, persuasion and how much money you have, um, you know, that might dictate whether you make it yourself or whether you buy it. Um, the combine itself... Um, I can speak to three different cases. Uh, one of my fellow rogues uh, had a skill of about 275. He did the combine and got and succeeded with his very first attempt. I failed with my first attempt, uh, but then succeeded on my second. And then another guild rogue, um, he failed on his first two attempts before succeeding on, succeeding on his third. So. Um, uh, it is an economic decision. It, it's a decision that you have to, to make in the Plains of Power era where uh, there's still not a lot of plat that's around. Right now it's really a non-issue because it's very, very easy to make money in this game. But um, it is, uh, you are kind of grappling with the decision of do I allow my skill to go up higher so I can maximize the combine or do I try it early and attempt to get my skill up uh, when I can recycle vials and not have to farm vials. So it's it's an economic decision. Another thing to keep in mind when we go into class and we go into AAs, um, we have um, poison making um, uh, skill up. So innate poison making and um, salvage. Salvage is key. Uh, this gives you a chance to recover items. And here's Poison Mastery here. This is a Shadows of Luckland AA. So you might want to wait until you've invested some money in Poison Mastery and Salvage prior to doing that. If you can recover the Artisan Seal, um, you know, uh, or if you can recover the ingredients for the Grand Master Vial on failure, um, then um, that can also uh, play to your advantage. So just a couple things to think about. So that pretty much covers the Grandmaster Assassin Vial. Um, our next quest that we're going to discuss is the Grandmaster Assassin Seal. And that quest, we're actually going to start making poison. So um, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Bye.